Assalamualaikum to Podcast Media Dr. Kacho Bekti Kali. My name is Atika Bibi Razi. My name is Nur Aiman Bibi Abdurraza from 4 VHC Section 2 under supervision of Dr. Muhammad Sikiti Bihandi. So for my final year project 1, I am going to present about the development of multi-cell lithium-ion battery charger. This is the outline for my project, so I'm going to introduce one by one through my presentation. For the introduction, there are four general things that needs to be known first. First is, what is a battery? Second, what is battery charger? Third, what is a DC 2 to 9 volts and port? What is max 1727? What is battery? A battery is a device that stores chemical energy and converts it to electrical energy. So what happens inside a battery? In a battery, there are two plates made of different metals who are immersed into a chemical solution called an electrolyte. The metal will react with the solution to produce a flow of charges. The flow of charges will start from the cathode, which is the positive plate, towards the anode, the negative plate. The flowing of charges resulted to a formation of electric current that can do work. So the first battery was invented by an Italian man, Alessandro Volta, in the year 1800. He uses a copper and zinc separated by clothes and soak it in salty water. Batteries come in different shape and size, but the most common battery used on a daily basis is a lithium-ion battery. So, before the lithium-ion battery was invented in 1985 by Akira Yoshimi, the nickel cadmium and the nickel metal hydride battery was the common one used in older times. So, Batteries, uh, they have two types of battery, which is the rechargeable and non-rechargeable battery. So, what is rechargeable battery? Rechargeable battery, or we call it prime secondary battery, is a battery that can be charged and can be used more than once. Uh, it also has higher lifespan if the charging method was right but it is a bit costly. For non-rechargeable battery, or considered as primary battery, it is a battery that cannot be charged and can only be used once. For example, uh, an alkaline, alkaline battery. In this project, it is mainly on charging a lithium-ion battery. So what is lithium-ion battery? A lithium-ion battery is made up of lithium metal on its cathode. The battery has anode, cathode, a separator, and electrolyte for the movement of ions across anode and cathode. So the battery works by the movement of positive charged lithium ion from the anode to cathode. This happens to be charging. So when this this charging process happens, it will happen vice versa. The movement will start from the cathode towards the anode. So, example of other lithium ion batteries is uh, lithium with manganese oxide and lithium cobalt oxide. Lithium ion was used because it has high power density and cell voltage. It is also compact in size, making it easy to be carried anywhere. Lithium-ion battery was commonly used uh, 3.6 to 7.2 voltage and have various range of power capacity starting from, 100, from the hundreds towards the thousands of milliampere per hour. Even the C rates of the lithium-ion battery is high, started from 1 coulomb to 10 coulomb. So, a battery charger is a device that provides a supply of current into a rechargeable battery. So, the picture uh, shown in the slide is the type of charger commonly used uh, nowadays. Uh, 
that is trickle charger, universal battery charger and lighter, and USB power, USB bay charger, which is a power bank. So, different types of batteries have different ways of charging. For example, you can use trickle charging mode or fluid charging, fast charging, burp charging, or constant voltage and constant current mode. For this project, there are two integrated circuit used, which is ADC2 to M1 and Max 1737. So, what is ADC2 to M1? It is a constant current or constant voltage linear charger for single cell lithium ion battery. It also features triple charging mode for a deeply discharged cell and fast charging mode. It can also charge up to 4.5 to 12 volt in full voltage range. Next is the MAX 1737. What is MAX 1737? It is a switch mode lithium ion battery charger that can charge from 1 to 4 single cells. It also has per cell battery voltage regulation limit up to 4.0 and 4.4 voltage. So next is the problem statement. So before I state the problem of first, let's take a look at different types of battery charger block diagram. So firstly, this is a lead that said battery charger block diagram. Secondly, this is the nickel cadmium battery charger block diagram. Lastly, is the nickel metal hydride battery charger block diagram. So from the previous circuit that we have seen, we can assume that they are a big complex circuit and have many components in it. It is also making the battery charger heavy and space consuming. Nowadays, the technology has been developed and the design for a device available is much smaller and lighter, making it convenient for the consumers to bring it and wear. So, this project is developed to overcome this problem. So, we use the two ICs that I have explained before, the ADC2291 and MAX1737. We can uh, replace it with a microcontroller as it was it was actually a chip that contained everything needed for a battery charger but put in a single chip. So therefore it is space consuming, it is also lighter in it. The objectives of this project is to develop a lithium ion battery charger using MAX1737 and ADP2291. Secondly, it is to evaluate the performance of the battery charger chips. The scope of this project is firstly, single cell lithium ion battery charger using ADP2291 as controller. Secondly, multi cell lithium ion battery charger using MAX1737 as controller. Thirdly, printed circuit board models of lithium ion battery charger developed using OCAD PCB. Lastly, charging of 4 to 4.4 volts of lithium ion battery. For the literature review, in this slide, the typical operating circuit for both ADP2291 and MAX1737 was shown. As displayed, we can see the difference between uh, the circuit of the nickel cadmium and nickel metal hydride uh, is very different from the circuit of ADP and MAX IC. It is more simple and easy to understand. The IC already has the, all the controller needed to uh, be able to charge a battery. So here are the basic battery charging methods. Firstly, trickle charge. Second, fluid charge. And third, constant voltage and constant current move. 
Firstly, is a trickle charging. Trickle charging was designed for self-discharging of battery cells. It is also a battery charger that can charge at low ampere and also can produce different current to charge the battery according to consumer's need, whether slow or fast charging. Uh, a trickle charger cannot be left, uh, left overnight or left charging always because it can cause overheating and can damage the battery. So, trickle charging is suitable for lead acid battery type, for example, a car battery. Secondly, is the fluid charger. Fluid charger supplies constant voltage that continuously flows into the battery, maintaining a full charge state. So, in fluid charger, there are three stages, which is the bulk stage, absorption stage, and fluid stage. During the bulk stage, uh, the voltage from the battery increases to a constant rate. When connected to a battery that is slightly discharged, a maximum current will flow into the battery. So, in the absorption stage, this actually usually happens when the battery is fully, almost fully charged at 75 to 80%. So, during the decreasing of the current, the voltage stays constant at its maximum value. The reduction of current was affected by the amount of energy that can be absorbed by the battery and not by the charger itself. So, to maintain prolonged battery life, a sufficient rate of absorption must be normalized. This stage maintains until the maximum current drops to a few percentage. During this stage also, the battery has fully charged, therefore the amount of current becomes insignificant. So, during the last stage, the current from the battery will enter fluid stage after it reaches the lower level. In this stage, the battery will keep fully charged by pulsing the fluid current. In these three stages, the voltage and the current was managed following the requirement by the charger to make sure the battery life was improved. So, this fluid charging was suitable to uh, used for backup and emergency power supply. Lastly, is the constant voltage, constant current mode. In this process, two modes are collaborating together to charge the battery. So, what is constant voltage mode? Constant voltage mode, also known as voltage control mode, is a power supply that behaves like a voltage source. It holds the voltage constant across the output terminals while the output current diverts determined by the load condition. Referring to Ohm's law, V equals to IR, when the load resistance changes, the current flows also changes as it is proportional to keep the output voltage unchanged. Once the voltage level was reached, the current will then decrease to a smaller value. If suddenly the resistance decreases, the current will rise to make sure the output voltage stays constant. This also happened in constant current mode where the voltage will maintain the constant current. So it is suitable for charging lithium ion battery. But in lithium ion battery there is actually three steps of charging which include trickle charge, constant voltage and constant current mode. So here is the methodology for this project. Firstly, uh, research of battery charger working principle. Then I started to design the schematic diagram for ADP 2291 and MAX 1727 integrated script. Uh, and it should be next to design the printed circuit board layout for ADP 2291 and MAX 1737 integrated script. And lastly, find the company use for the battery charger. So next is the gun chart showing the flow of my FYP. So from week 1 to week 14, uh, it is quiet uh, achievable. Uh, I think I have done 50% of the project. So that's the hardware will be continue in finding your project to
for the preliminary result, uh, I try to calculate the adjustable voltage regulation and uh, the VRS is already given in the data sheet and the RS is assumed by many myself. So I calculate the voltage ADJ and then I can calculate the R ADJ and I use the VRS and the RS to find the current maximum current. But for max 1737 I haven't done calculation yet because I still cannot understand the data sheet so maybe it will be calculated in next FYP so here is the result of the schematic diagram that has been drawn on ORCAD capture for ADP 2291 and next to it is the printed circuit board obtained after the schematic diagram was drawn. And here is the schematic diagram for MAX 1737 and the printed circuit board layout was obtained. So in conclusion, I have achieved Maybe 45% of the objective, that is firstly the development of lithium-ion battery charger using MAX 1737 and ADP 2291 using OCAP PCV software has been achieved, while the hardware will be continued on final year project 2. And secondly, the evaluation of the battery charger chip's performance. Uh, I should calculate first for this sense. Then the next time we will try to run the Chaiju and see if it matches the calculation. So that is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.